Hi, I'm Agent Bennett, and today I'm going to go over some basic tips when it comes to action photography. Now with action shots, the first thing you want to remember is that you are trying to freeze a subject in motion. This could be someone playing sports, animals moving, or even cars winding through the streets. Most commonly, this can be done with a shallower depth of field as you're trying to separate the subject from the background, like this picture here. Today, I will be using a mirrorless camera and a few accessories to help capture our motion. Here are some items you will need. A camera that supports removable lenses, a telephoto lens, a fast memory card, a monopod, and a backup battery. Let's get started. First, let's attach our lens so we can actually test out some settings. I'm putting on this Canon RF 100 to 500 millimeter telephoto zoom lens today, which is ideal for outdoor action photography. I'll start by lining up the colored dots on the lens and camera body, inserting gently and then do about a quarter turn clockwise or counterclockwise depending on your camera until the lens locks. You'll notice that my dots are red, but yours could be another common color like white, for instance. As you can see here, this lens will really pull the action closer to your camera. Just remember, as you bring that action closer to you, make sure you leave some room in the frame for the action to move into. Okay, now that we have our lens attached, let's insert a memory card. Start by finding your card slot, insert the proper memory card, and then close the protective hatch. One thing to note, since action photography usually deals with a fast moving subject, I'm using a fast memory card. This SanDisk Extreme Pro memory card will be quick enough for the camera to write the information. Also, a fast memory card will allow you to maximize the speed of your camera's burst mode which is the first setting on your camera we're going to adjust. Since action photography involves a lot of movement, you're going to want to change your settings to burst or continuous shooting mode. This technique will allow variety in the burst of photos you're taking. This will give you options to select from when reviewing your images. I'm using this Canon EOS R6, which can shoot up to 12 frames per second with the mechanical shutter or up to 20 frames per second using the electronic shutter option. Let's go ahead and set our camera to the electronic shutter option. You can change your settings by first pressing the menu button. Then turn the main dial until you see the shutter mode option. Turn the quick control dial one to move to the shutter mode option and then press the set button. Use the quick control dial to select the option for the shutter and then press set to select it. I'm going to choose electronic in order to get a silent shutter so that I don't draw any extra attention. Once selected, pressing the menu button will take me out of the settings. Now to set the camera to continuous shooting mode, I will press the quick control button and use the quick control dial one to navigate to the drive mode option. I could also just tap on that option as well. Once drive mode is highlighted, I can then select the high speed continuous plus option. Here are some examples. Yeah, continuous shooting feels like a good option for this action. As you can see, the image I took outside is in focus and I have plenty of options to choose from. Next, we're going to play with two different settings called shutter and aperture priority. I recommend the shutter priority setting if you're taking action shots outdoors, which we are. Turning the mode dial to TV will place the camera in shutter priority mode. Turn on your auto ISO to adjust the light sensitivity to guarantee your minimum shutter speed. You can then set the minimum shutter speed you want, say 1 500th of a second, and then the camera will auto adjust the ISO to properly expose the picture. Pretty neat. Now let's try out aperture priority. With this setting, you put your aperture to your desired level, and then the camera will automatically adjust the shutter speed and ISO, which definitely helps when the sun creeps out from behind a cloud. Turning the mode dial to AV will place the camera in aperture priority mode. Watch as the camera will auto adjust the aperture and ISO. Nice. Okay, let's add some stabilization for when you need to follow the action. I really like using a monopod. It's much easier to move around when compared to a tripod and it will help keep your camera stable while tracking. This Manfrotto Element M2, what I'm using today, is quite easy to set up. Just secure the telephoto lens to the monopod and adjust your leg. Voila, we're ready for action. Let's take some shots and see how we're looking. Nice. Now we've got a great base of knowledge to start exploring action photography with. However, there is one last thing I highly recommend, backup batteries. 
This is the Canon LP E6 NH rechargeable battery, and it comes in handy because you can charge your used battery whenever it gets low. You don't want to be running out of batteries at the wrong time. Having the option to bring just a handful of batteries and charge them is very convenient. Plus, if you have back-to-back -back photography shoots planned, you can simply pop the batteries into your charger when you're home so you're ready to go. All right, these are just a few things to think about when doing action photography. Use these tips and fine-tune your style so you're ready to capture those blink-of-an-eye moments. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, give it a like. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tech tips from Best Buy. Thanks for watching.